My name is Rang Chen. I founded the Elastos project in year 2000. And uh, the Elastos actually means three things. First of all, elastic compute, meaning we are going to build virtual machines all across the internet, across the web. Of course, a related project would be uh, Amazon's uh, Elastic Compute, which has the only virtual machines in the cloud instead of across the internet. The second meaning of Elastos is uh, because of this uh, operating system for the network, and we cannot have versioning, we cannot have device drivers, we cannot have uh, a demons to make it uh, safer, right? And uh, of course, the third meaning of Elastos, it's more like uh, a rubber, a, a virtual machine, a digital condom, so to speak. So then we can define, uh, uh, define viruses from spreading. Because uh, when we think about uh, the value internet or the internet of assets, which is coming up, a lot of people talk about it related to blockchain, is actually we're sharing code peer-to-peer -peer instead of sharing data peer-to-peer, -peer, which is the last internet. With the URL, you get a web page. Now with the URL, you get instant programs. And to get instant programs, of course, you need to have virtual machines in response to the spreading of viruses. That's why we need this uh, novel new technology to prohibit applications from sending any network packets on their own. They have to be delegated to the network OS to send messages, any network messages. So then we hope to raise the bar for DDoS attacks to middleman attacks or to viruses to a completely new level so we can have a trust to share digital assets so we can get uh, payments or incentives peer-to-peer -peer without intermediaries. So we want to build this decentralized internet then the miners actually are working there for a very simple reason. They want to get uh, incentivized. And uh, that said, the mining purpose actually, the side effect of it, so then we can boot up the internet without middlemen, without those big uh, internet giants. That's the only way we see currently. So then we have to have a ELA to reward the miners, which we are doing merge mining with Bitcoin community. Actually, the people who buy the mining machines, they can mine uh, Bitcoin and ELA coin at the same time. We open to mining by the end of this year, 2018. Digital assets, as I said, uh, people are now to realize that it's possible to share uh, Bitcoins between one another without intermediaries. But then in terms of sharing digital assets, anything bigger than a number, anything you know, like a blob of data, then we have to share the code as well, the code which interprets the data. Otherwise, there's no way we know uh, who is taking advantage, who is manipulating the data. That's one uh, way to explain what is uh, digital assets shared uh, on Elastos. The second reason we gave is uh, the main chain is very pure and simple. It's only for the mining, so which is like gold standard of the internet, of the whole smart economy. And the applications actually on top would have their own set chains. For example, the websites, which is built out of consensus instead of built out of just a one organization. For that kind of uh, uh, websites or uh, sub ecosystems, like uh, we have Go Standard, then we can build uh, sub economies. Then sub economy would have their own tokens or cryptocurrencies, so to speak, just like. We have gold standard, then you have American dollar, then you have Europe, uh, euros and uh, Chinese yuan. And uh, so basically it's a hierarchy, right? And uh, not only it's for performance reasons, it's also actually true in real life as well. Then the side chains are actually built for sub economies or the uh, sub uh, uh, consensus or sub websites. We're going to have a, a single a public chain, which is the Elastos Ledger public chain. But then we do intend to port other smart contracts, the virtual machines, like a EVM uh, for Ethereum kind of virtual machines on top of our set chains. Because uh, we don't believe in running smart contracts on the main chain, because I believe the main chain should be part of the operating system, should be hidden from applications from consumers. 
but then like websites, consensus-based websites, and uh, the sub-ledgers, which could be built on uh, sub-chains with the, their own versions of uh, smart contracts. So uh, we're not going to uh, invent uh, many more of uh, smart contracts on our own. We intend to support multiple different versions of smart contracts. If you think operating system, for example, they're going to support Java, C Sharp, Basic, C, whatever the consumers prefer, the operating system will, will uh, facilitate. We are collaborating with Bitmain. Uh, we are actually jointly developed the so-called merge mining algorithms and the merge mining machines. So then the same uh, hardware could mine Bitcoin and Elasus coin at the same time. It's also to uh, Bitmain's interest to support a new smart economy based on this uh, uh, new internet, this uh, Elasus internet, so to speak. So they want to use the proceeds, uh, actually the uh, angel investment into Elastos. They want to set up a fund with that money to support uh, ecosystems, in particularly uh, the mining algorithms and, uh, and set chains. Days ago, we started uh, the very first uh, DApps uh, Hacker Marathon in Beijing. We're going to have very simple DApps coming up in a week or so. But then for serious uh, DApps, we expect to release Elasso's uh, uh, DApps SDK, very first version, we call it a 0.1 version, in August. So then uh, we expect to see DApps in August. But then full-blown types of DApps, more like um, similar to Zapier or Telegram, decentralized Zapier, decentralized Telegram-like uh, DApps, uh, probably by the end of the year. We are talking to uh, Far Eastern Airline of Taiwan. We're also talking with the uh, Urban Catalyst of London. Well, both of them actually showed interest to use ELA uh, to experiment, actually, in their business. The Far Eastern Airline not only uh, runs a very local, regional commercial airline, they also, because it's a tourist-oriented uh, airline, they own five-star hotels, they own resorts, they own like convenience stores, they own uh, uh, franchises in some local areas of Taiwan and China. So they want to experiment cryptocurrencies in the region, in that uh, island called Penghu Island, actually a very tiny, tiny island where they can practice, right? They can try different critical uh, cryptocurrencies to purchase uh, uh, airline tickets, to buy uh, hotel rooms, uh, to purchase uh, convenience store foods, etc. And similarly with Urban Catalyst, they also own, ca uh, own uh, dormitories at uh, South Bank University of London. They also own uh, video studios. And uh, where, so then, because we're talking about sharing uh, short videos or digital assets peer to peer, so they would like to use uh, ELA or Elasso's internet to uh, experiment. I see blockchain brings a new, uh, bigger tidal wave to the current internet. The current internet is the internet of data, internet of information. We click on the URL, we get a web page, or we share the photos and uh, messages through social networks. But the new internet will be sharing digital assets, sharing ebooks, selling ebooks peer to peer, selling movies, selling games peer to peer, which definitely will have much bigger impact to our life than the previous internet. So I am very excited to see uh, the combination, actually, the internet combined with blockchain technology instead of just the blockchain alone because of the, all the sharing, all the applications are actually running on the internet. But with the enabler of the blockchain, which give us a really like a catalyst, right? Bring the whole thing, a, raise it to a completely new level.